Hey, good morning, happy Tuesday. Hope you're doing great today and ready to rock and roll with another little stability ball routine. Yesterday was more about kind of stretching and activating, opening. Um, today we're gonna work a little bit more on core and a little bit more on some strength-based stuff, okay? So some glutes, all right, a little bit of shoulders and back and all that good stuff. So. Um, let's get to it. I've got my ball and the first move we're going to be picking up the ball and we're standing, okay? So, right here, grab this ball. We're going to be doing some around the world. So we're going to be taking the ball in some circles, stopping with our, using our core and taking the ball in the opposite direction. So you want to make sure that your base of support is set up, okay? Feet parallel toes pointing forward or slightly out to the side, whatever you feel most comfortable with. Okay, your knees are softly bent, grounding through the feet. Pelvis is tucked in and under. Okay, glutes are squeezing, shoulders are down and back. So this is gonna get into the shoulders and the core, this one. So if, um, if you're having issues with range of motion, you wanna make sure that you're just working within your range of motion, so no pain, there shouldn't be pain. All right, so if you're trying to go too high or too fast or too far around in the circle, then listen to your body, go to a point where it will work for you, okay? So grabbing this ball, make sure I don't hit anything on the mantle there. <laughs> All right, getting set up through the feet, I'm gonna take my arms, swing them around and up and over, boom, okay? And the faster you go, the faster you have to stop, the more core force and core stability and strength that you have to use to stop that ball and reverse the directions, okay? Over, and now, so we're warming up through the shoulders. You wanna squeeze the ball, so you're getting some isometric exercise in there as well, and all of that good, beautiful stuff. All right, so. 10 of those, I'd say 10 each direction, so 20 total, okie dokie. And then we're gonna go down to the floor, halfway to the floor really, and then all the way to the floor, but this one will be halfway. So we're gonna go into a little leg abduction, okay? Getting into the glutes and those hip abductors. So you're gonna be kneeling beside the ball. Outside leg is the one that's going to be lifting and working. Okay, inside leg is right, you can snuggle your hip right up uh, against the ball there and plant your forearm on the ball. Remember to keep your shoulder down and back for that support and that balance and to make sure you're not dropping and, and um, leaning into the sh um, shoulder here. So you wanna make sure to pull everything down and back so it's all supported through here, you're not collapsing, that's the word I was looking for. So here, you will take this leg and you're going to lift it up. A couple of different variations for you, okay? So really you can lean in to that elbow and that ball, getting a little bit of isometric work with the shoulder here too. And you're going to lift that leg up. So you can do some pulses here, or sorry, pulses that lifts here, pull the shoulder back, using that stability ball, belly button is in, you're working on those glutes, okay? Leg is nice and strong, so your foot is flexed okay, in this one. Next, you can also go into here, little pulses if you like. Okay, so holding, pulse it out, or you can take some circles. Circles requires a little bit more balance and control here with this upper body, okay? And the core. So, 10 of those each leg. So you just roll them all over, get yourself set up, and go ahead with that other side. I have, like to have my hand on my hip. You can have the other hand on the ball for some more support here as well, okay? So whatever works for you, whatever you'd like to do in that one. This time, or last exercise, excuse me, we're going into um, a reverse plank, a body plank. So I'm gonna have my ball over here. I'm gonna take my feet up onto the top of the ball. Make sure you can see me here. And again, the more leg, you have on the ball, the more support and stable you are. Okay, so if you're unsure about this one, then start here with almost the whole leg on the ball. And I'll show you what you can do. You're gonna plant those hands beside you, or if you wanna challenge, you can take those arms up 
and keep them up in the air, okay? Shoulders are rolled back and down, pull the belly button in, squeeze the glutes, tuck the pelvis under, and you're gonna come up and hold. You don't have to go way up, we're not trying to lift those hips up, you're just going for a straight line from head to heel. So again, that challenge is here. Okay? If you want a more of a challenge, take those feet out, so you're resting on your heels, okay? So the less a leg you have on the ball, the harder it's going to be, the more you're gonna have to use that balance, okay? So you can use, you can do a little lift here, you can hold it for five seconds at a time, or you can take it into a nice lift, okay? Almost like a, like a hip bridge, but straight leg hip bridge. Be sure that if you're doing that hip bridge and the pulse, that you're not getting into your low back, so pull the belly button in, tuck that pelvis under, point those toes, and you're just lifting and holding down, lift. This is, requires all your legs to be stabilized, requires your glutes, your hamstrings, everything to be supporting and stabilizing. The beauty of the stability ball. All right, that is it for your moves today. Uh, let me know if you have any questions at all. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, all that good stuff that really helps out. And uh, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.